I'm alive Do or die I'm alive First of all, I've learned through the work with the dogs that we appreciate every day that we get through. So, you know, every day is a plus. You really appreciate life when you're here. Um, I get up at about six and then I make myself a cup of coffee. I look after my dogs around my caravan a little bit. And then I go into the shelters to feed, uh, to clean, to water to medicate, to run around volunteers, telling them what extra jobs we have to do, to deal with phone calls that never end, morning, day, night, um, to take dogs to the vet. It's a, it's a constant, constant battle, yeah. I don't have a day off, I don't, I don't have days off, never. never. Um, sometimes it's good we have volunteers that, you know, can really work the shelters, so that gives me a little bit of time to do some of my paperwork. But no, I don't, but I don't really need any time off because when I'm in, when I'm in the shelters with my dogs and I'm working, it, it relaxes me. It's peaceful. Yeah, you find peace there. I'm from Canada. I'm from Catalonia in Spain. We're both from the United States. I am from Lithuania. I'm from Canada. I'm from Slovenia, believe it or not. Uh, I'm from London. I'm from England. From France. France. Uh, Cambridge, England. I'm from Switzerland. I'm from Canada. My name's Julie, I'm from Colchester in the UK. The majority of the dogs here at the shelter have either been abused, neglected, dumped. Um, most of them are from the local area around Messinia. And my heart's here at Dash. You know, some people get emotional when they come here. Um, it's usually your first visit to become emotional because they don't know the street. They're not alone, they're never alone, there's always somebody on site. So it is a volunteers, even if I go out, some, there's always somebody here. Mm. I would say 90% of the dogs here are social. They're social, they don't they accept people coming in. So I think that's that's a very big achievement of the volunteers here. Which of course I thank because we get volunteers from all over the world coming here and everyone contributes and most of them have adopted the dog from here. They've left with a piece of dash with them. But food is an issue, it's always an issue. Food is always, we're always on, you know, um, we need food, uh, medication, yeah. Um, we need, 
photographs, photographs. We, we need somebody who would come in and photograph the dogs, give them a chance to be adopted. We really do have beautiful dogs and puppies here that are worth a home. So this is a really big, um, you know, issue to get help for that. Um, I want to say to everybody, if I, if they have somebody they know or themselves to open up their homes and adopt a dog from Dash, please. Uh, especially a senior dog. We have many senior dogs. Um, that will make us all here very happy, and me and the volunteers. I'm sure there are people out there that have room and have love for one of our dogs here. I'm sad because I know that some of them will not get adopted from here. I would like for them to have a home. But I'm positive, yes. Why not? Yeah. We've, we've, we've come a long way and I want to thank everybody for that. Uh, we still need help, but I want to thank everybody for everything they have contributed and to help make Dash a better place, a safe place. And it's growing. Positive. I, I will never change my life, never. I, I love what I do and I think I'm privileged because I think not many people have a passion and not many people can follow their passion. Therefore, I feel privileged and I, I you know, it's, it's, it's good. There are bad days, it's hard, but it's good. Now the